Hello Libra, welcome to another morning inspo. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if this reading resonates with you. Okay, let's get into your reading. Let's get into it. What messages do we have for Libra? What is the affirmation for today? <clears throat> what is the affirmation for today? It says, I forgive others for their flaws. How can I show forgiveness even when I'm badly hurt? I forgive others for their flaws. You're letting things go. You're letting things go. And you're trusting that you're making the right decisions on your path, on your journey. I feel like also you could be showing a, a higher level of empathy also for those people who are, for people who are around you, for people who could have necessarily wronged you. I feel like you can be definitely seeing, like, feeling where they're coming from. And that's just that higher level of consciousness, that higher, that higher level of awareness. What messages do we have for Libra? Heart, mind, body, spirit, and overall energy. There's something you want to pull out from your heart energy, from your heart space. Um, something you want to manifest, okay? I feel like there could be a need for you to be doubting yourself. Doubting your abilities, okay? Downplaying yourself, okay? With this lighthouse in the mind. And then for expectations in the body energy, in your physical body. Don't seek anyone's approval. Um, I feel like dimming your light or doubting yourself or not believing in yourself has got you to be um, afraid to show up. And at the bottom of the deck, you have spaceships. Don't be afraid to sing. So something has gotten you afraid to, to show up and it's like stand up for yourself because you're trying to manifest this thing in your heart space. You already have all the answers, okay? Um, there's a need for you to remember to practice self-love while you're trying to pull this thing out of your heart space. Um, definitely, you can feel like your heart chakra activating, okay? Um, there's a lot of that energy. And because you're pulling something out of your heart space right here. You got the stars right there. You're, you can manifest your every wish. And I feel like you know that. And there's something that you've been wanting for a long time that you've made the choice to now go after. And now you have to believe that you can actually have that thing that you've been des desiring. Tell me more about stars. Surrender. Yep. It's time for you to let this thing go out of your heart. I feel like there could also be a situation for some of you guys that you do need to surrender. There could be some feelings, some old feelings that don't necessarily... Um, serve you, old emotions, things that could be eating at you that you should let go. I feel like the best way to do that is to accept where you are now, accept where you are in the present moment. Um, I do also feel like wishful, wishing, wishing, get out of some type of wishy energy and accept where you are now and just... Um, Know that you have given your desires to the universe and know that you you 
you know, you have it. It's already yours. Act as if you already have it, you know. Um, I feel like it's time for you to bring something out. This is abundance. There is a lot of resistance here. You are protected. Your dreams are protected. It's time for you to, to put this thing. It's time for you to push this thing into the universe. Whatever this thing you've been trying to manifest from your heart space. Okay. Tell me more about Lighthouse. Okay. <clears throat> There's some unexpected new beginnings coming towards you, okay? For some of you guys, you've been through a lot. Yeah, you just got, it's all, it's all positive. You've been through a lot, but there's some unexpected new beginnings coming towards you. And I feel like in this next stage in your life, you're going to have to step into your power. Fully step into your power and trust the universe and trust these new beginnings. These things are going to be unexpected coming towards you and trust is going to be the big thing for you. I feel like there's some underlying fear here. And I feel like there's a need for some type of self-reflection. Like I said, stop doubting yourself, things like that. There could be some fear weighing from you. Um from that also there's a need from you for you to get in touch with your shadow side um check out how your shadow is feeling yeah here's where the resistance is the resistance is in your mind and it could be showing up in your body as well your movement also this could be affecting how you nurture yourself um some of you guys could be overindulging in things <clears throat> what else? Also, this could be stopping some type of action. Blocking some type of peace. Tell me more about expectations. The two wolves. The hunger. There's, there's, there's a big need for you to make peace within. I feel like there's a big need for you to make peace within. Feed your two wolves. Pay attention to both of them. Instead of trying to fit some type of mold of what you think will be accepted. I feel like in one space you can be neglecting this wolf. And then in the other space you can be neglecting that wolf. Trying to trying to, to, to live up to people's expectations. Or fit some type of mold. But it's not in alignment with, with what your heart wants to do. And your heart is ready. Look, feed both of them. You got nourishment. <laughs> self-love. That's self-love. Stop being resistant with yourself. Stop being resistant with dark moments or, or um, becoming one or becoming in union with your shadow. Tell me more about protests. message from spirit is a stand up for yourself also there may be someone that needs your help and i feel like you are a very very a, a brave person you stand up for people a lot um but i feel like this is you for some reason i feel like you could have made it out of some type of dark tunnel some type of 
darkness and you're supposed to start some type of revolution about it, help other people, something like that. That's what I'm getting. Or your wisdom. I feel like be thankful for how far you've came. There's a need for you to, to, to pause and really reflect on how far you've came and how much you've done. There's also abundance. Abundance coming from the actions you take. And standing up for something, leading some type of cause, doing some type of work. Being grateful, being kind. There's some type of abundance coming from your actions. Tell me more about thorns. This is you making your own crown. And this is your overall energy. Your overall energy is you, you making your own crown. You having faith in yourself. You believing in yourself. You seeing your dreams coming to fruition. So for some of you guys, your life is about to drastically change. May seem a little chaotic at first. But it's, this is a new beginning of you stepping into your power. You stepping into full confidence. You being more peaceful. You stepping into an area of peace. And love. Also beauty. This is you loving yourself. This is you focusing on your group, your, your growth, your beauty. You're attracting. You're manifesting a lot of things. You're attracting so much right now. Peace is going to nourish your soul. Protecting your peace right now. Not overly exerting yourself is going to nourish you. Taking time out for yourself. Okay, so that is the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.